Welcome to Zootech 2 to 5, Poultry Production and Flock Health Management. I am Gary Didesaga, an Instructor 1 of the College of Veterinary Medicine, and I will be your instructor for this course. Before we are going to proceed to our lecture proper, let us first have our class orientation. So in this course, uh, we are going to use two modes of learning. The first one is the asynchronous type of learning. And the second one is the synchronous type of learning. For the asynchronous type of learning, you know, this is um, a type of learning wherein the classes are run on a more relaxed schedule with students accessing a class materials during different hours and from different locations. So the one that you are doing now, the, wherein you are watching a pre-recorded lecture video or a lesson is an example of an asynchronous type of learning. So aside from this one, uh, other types of asynchronous learning that we can use in this course are viewing uh, video demonstrations, reading and writing assignments, and student presentations, and individual or group projects. Another type of learning that we can use is through the synchronous type of learning. So when we are going to conduct our lessons through Google Meet, you know, so that is an example of an asynchronous type of learning. So in a synchronous type of learning, students are engaged in learning at the same time. So there are different digital platforms that we can use in order to conduct our teaching and learning activities for this course. So the first one you know, that we can use is the uh, Google Meet. So Google Meet, uh, we are going to use this as our main uh, platform for synchronous type of learning. Another is the USM VLE or the Virtual Learning Environment 4.0. So we are going to use this as our official learning management system. We are also going to make use of YouTube, Facebook, Messenger, uh, we are also going to have uh, Google Classroom, Canva, and uh, PowerPoint. When we are going to conduct our Google Meet, so there are different ground rules that must be followed by everyone. So one of that is uh, show up at the correct time and stay in the Meet for the entire time. So for example, when our class schedule is from 8 to 9 a.m., so students are expected to be at the meet you know, before the start time. So that is uh, at least five minutes before the start of the class. And of course, students must uh, be there, must stay at the meet for the entire time until the class is dismissed. Mute your microphone until you are called upon to speak. And keep the sidebar chat on topic. So when we are going to navigate our Google Meet, we have there a chat box at the side of the uh, interface of the Google Meet. So you must keep that on topic. You know, so you, you must all only discuss uh, topics that are related to our lesson. We can also make use of the chat box to ask questions or share resources. So you can always um, ask questions from your instructor about the things that you are, uh, the, the things that need, you need to ask you know, about the lesson, so you can raise your questions in the chat box. You can also share uh, helpful resources that is related to our lesson in the chat box. Another ground rule is you may or may not turn on your video as long as you listen to the lesson. You should also limit your background noise so your teacher and classmates can hear you clearly when you speak. So then I talk when someone else is talking. So these are the ground rules that we must follow when we are going to conduct our Google Meet. So the Google Meet link will be generated through USM BLE 4.0 and the link will then be sent to the class group chat in Messenger. Google Meet shall be done during the scheduled class hours for the course. So our official learning management system for the course is the USM BLE 4.0.
The VLE stands for Virtual Learning Environment. Students need an institutional email or the USM Gmail account for you to be able to enter this platform. You also need an enrollment key for you to be able to access the platform. So the enrollment key for this course was already shared in our um, class group chat in Messenger. So this is what our course look li looks like in uh, VLE 4.0. So in this platform, all our topics, the cl our class outline, our syllabus, and all the lecture materials will be uploaded in this platform. The next uh, platform that we are going to use is YouTube. So on YouTube, we have our official channel, the Pinoy Vet Akads. So this channel will be a site where all our lecture presentations are recorded. No lecture presentations will be uploaded. Lectures here are uploaded regularly and are arranged in playlist format so that you will not uh, find it difficult to navigate and search uh, the lesson you wish to view. Everyone is encouraged to subscribe to this channel to keep updated about our lessons. So the next is uh, Facebook. So we also have our Facebook page. You can uh, like and follow our FB page, Pinoy Vet Akads, to be updated with our lessons, announcements, and some useful information about the course. We also have a messenger, so uh, everyone should be a member of uh, our class group chat in messenger for you to be able to uh, communicate you know, regularly with your classmates as well as your instructor. Another is uh, the Google Classroom. So we have our Google Classroom for this uh, course. I already have made you know, our Google Classroom for this course. And this is very important, especially when our uh, USM VLE 4.0 is under maintenance or not available. So we can make use of this Google Classroom for us to upload the lecture material. And the, we can also make use of this you now to provide you with a helpful uh, sentences about the lesson and also important announcement about the course. For our class presentations, we are going to make use of PowerPoint presentation and Canva. For our examinations, so you, you are going to take your examinations through Google Forms. For the course uh, number, our course number is Zootech 225. For the course title, uh, our course title is Poultry Production and Flock Health Management. The course has a credit unit of three. The lecture has two units. Two hours will be intended or will be devoted for a lecture per week. And the laboratory has three units. Three hours will be devoted for laboratory per week. For our class schedule, our lecture will be every Tuesday and Thursday at 1 to 2 p.m. I will only handle the lecture. For the course description, so this course aims to provide students with an introduction to poultry production and flock health management. It shall deal with the state of the poultry industry, brooding management practices for hatchery, layer, and broiler. It shall also deal with the health-related care, poultry welfare, and also uh, artificial in insemination in avians. For our course outline, so the first module will be our class orientation. 
the next module will discuss about the state of the poultry industry in the Philippines. The third module will be about the classes, breeds, and varieties of poultry. The next will be the poultry housing. The fifth module will be about the brooding management. The sixth module will be about the grower management. The seventh module will talk about the care and management of layers. The eighth uh, module will be about the broiler management. The litter management and poultry judging. And the management during uh, summer and winter. We are also going to talk about the vices and remedial measures to these vices, the water management in poultry, the biosecurity, poultry welfare and behavior, and the digestive system of chickens. We are also going to discuss about the nutrient requirements of poultry, feed formulation, poultry health care, the vaccination program, the breeder flock management, feeding of the breeder stock, hatchery management, and artificial insemination in poultry. For the course evaluation, so the term grade shall constitute 33% of the grade for quizzes and long exams and 67% for the term examinations. The final grade shall constitute 33% of the midterm grade and 67% of the final term grade. The passing percentage in any examination is 75% with an equivalent of 3.0. So thank you for listening.